Welcome to Dar Eye Headlines. I'm Anthony Carlyle. Thank you for joining us. Starting off, Saji News today, like many people, when you go shopping at the local store, you probably pack your groceries in a cardboard box. But do you know how that box can be reused? At Jean Culture, which runs Saji's bookstores and cafes, in a few simple steps, over 90% of their boxes are recycled. The scheme not only cuts the cost of packaging, but saves a few trees from being cut down too. Around a dozen volunteers are working in Jingsa culture. Packets of mixed grain powder are tipped on the table to be repacked. But what will happen to the empty box thrown to one side? Well, it's not going to the waste bin. If you look on the other side of the room, a volunteer really is ironing, not clothes, but the discarded cardboard boxes. We've seen one cardboard box can be reused eight or night. We've even discovered some boxes have been used ten or more times. Your eyes are not deceiving you. The volunteer in the corner is ironing the tape on the cardboard boxes. At Jingsu Culture, the tape on every recycled box is carefully steamed off with an iron. Over 90% of the boxes can be used again, good as new. For every ten boxes, we can reuse at least nine or even more. With a little attention to the small details, a box that could only be used once can not only be given a new lease of life, but can help stop logging and save the forests. First up in Global View today, Gaoliang liquor and peanut candy are what usually come to mind when you think of Jinmen County. But not many people know local farmers on the outlying island are forced to plant drought-resistant crops like sorghum and peanuts due to the poor natural conditions. Jinmen has an average annual rainfall of just over 1,000 millimeters, but 1.5 times that amount of moisture evaporates from the soil. Relying on rainfall for irrigation is almost impossible, so farmers are forced to use well water, which makes the simple step of watering the fields an arduous job. From the shoreline of the Taiwan-held outlying island of Jingmen, you can see the coastal Chinese city of Xiamen. That is how close they are. Apart from local products, since the opening of the cross-strait direct trade, anything from Taiwan and China can be found here at the hustle and bustle of the local market in Jingmen County. As well as its quiet country roads and simple way of life, Jingmen's reputation as Taiwan's military stronghold and home of ancient Chinese architecture has drawn in 40,000 tourists a month since 1993. Traditional village architecture, westernized buildings, and statues of Wing Lion God are what tourists remember the most about their visits to Jingmen. Few of them noticed that the Frontline Island has been suffering from severe water shortage for many years. Mentioning Jingmen and Gaoliang liqueur is usually the first thing that comes to mind. The main ingredient, sorghum, requires little irrigation, hence it is ideal for Jingmen's arid farmland and dry climate. When the typhoon is over on the Taiwan island, we still don't get any rain. Even if we did, it wouldn't be enough to soak the land. It takes six seconds to fill a small bucket of water from the 10 foot deep well. This is the only source of water for irrigation in the area. Rain is the one alternative that can spare them from the laborious job. Used for the classic Jingmen treat, peanut candy, this year's peanut harvest is disappointing. They are very dry because it hasn't rained since July when I planted the seedlings. Despite the trouble, having a well on the farm is considered lucky. For 75-year-old Mr. Yang, in order to water his crops, he needs to carry eight buckets of water at least twice a day from a well that is located miles away. God just doesn't want to give us any rain. It rains all the time on Taiwan Island, but never in Jinmen. All the water comes from the well. We use a pump to draw water from it. Even with a pump, the speed of filling up these 31 buckets can barely keep up with how fast the soil absorbs water. One well is not even enough for one household's use. The well may be able to solve the irrigation problem for now, 
But if excessive pumping continues, groundwater depletion is just a matter of time. The changing climate is the subject of our next item from Europe, where the greatest chance of seeing dolphins in their natural habitat would usually be the warm reaches of the Mediterranean Sea. However, for the first time in several years, they have been sighted in the Baltic region. At first, observers were unsure of exactly what the animals were, but experts have confirmed that they are the common dolphin. The last time a dolphin was spotted in the Baltic was 2001. But recently, something attracted these fun-loving creatures back to the region. Off the northern coast of Germany, near an island called Hidden Sea, Border Patrol boat BP-21 discovered two dolphins. Matthias Kruger, captain of the boat, says how at first they were unsure of what exactly the animals were, but the Institute for Oceanography confirmed that they were actually the common dolphin, which normally inhabit the warmer waters of the Mediterranean. We have been observing porpoises in the Baltic Sea for many years, also in support of the Institute for Oceanography. When we discovered the animals, we were wondering because porpoises usually are smaller and more compact. Then we thought it could be a different animal, maybe even a dolphin from the Mediterranean Sea. After talking to a woman from the Institute for Oceanography, it was confirmed that it actually is the common dolphin, not in the Mediterranean, but in the Baltic Sea. Captain Kruger also says that the dolphin were very trusting, swimming very close to the boat, and that the older dolphin was even suckling its young. It's a very interesting story, also for the officers. The dolphins were very trusting, only two or three meters away from the boat. They were playing with each other, and we could even see how the older animal suckled its young. We were told that this very rarely happens. Dr. Harold Bank, director of the German Oceanographic Museum, says that it is very rare for the dolphin to be suckling its calf in the presence of the police boat. He also says that it seems these dolphins are actually appearing in the Baltic more frequently. Some of my colleagues who are observing the distribution of dolphins over years think that dolphins spot in the Baltic Sea or North Sea from time to time now actually appear. The dolphins swam alongside the patrol boat for four hours, frequently making leaps and dives in and out of the water. 